Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. In this demonstration, I will show you why we are the best when it comes to screen paint, when it comes to your home theater setup, because we do things that other people will not do when it comes to testing their screen paints. It will not push that limit. We don't use high power projectors. Uh, we don't use any form of 4K upscaling, calibrating the projector. None of that nonsense. We don't do anything. We just keep it real over here. So let me show you how real it's about to get. Now, uh, as I said, some of our kits come with projectors. We have few Sonic projectors. We have a few Epson projectors and some other projectors. These are companies we have contracts with where we get our projectors from wholesale. And these are fantastic kits. If you're just buying your projector, for the first time you get the projector you get the screen paint and you get the blackout cloth you get a sound bar now some will come with sound bars some won't come with sound bars now all kits come with sound bars but you have everything all in once on top of that you get our amazing screen paint as you've seen our demonstrations we do our demonstrations against high-end professional screens showing you the difference between our technology and what's out there on the market like I said you know, we don't save you hundreds, we save you thousands. You got to think about that. On top of that, we do our demonstrations in fully lit environments, showing you do not have to be subjected to the dark. As I said before, when you see somebody using a high caliber projector or even a mid entry level projector, a majority of the videos are done in the dark. It's a huge red flag that that's where you're going to be at with that screen in the dark. Now, this is a blackout cloth you get for free, for free. For those of you who are rent, you can't paint on your walls, this is fantastic. Also, too, the material is an eight-way stretchable. It is acoustic. You can paint it. You can paint it with the formula. You can put speakers behind. The sound will travel through it. I'll do a demonstration on that later on today. Um, also, too, uh, the surface is mold and mildew resistant, which means you can use it for outdoor also. So how many times, how many, tell me where you can get blackout cloth at that's nine feet by 12 feet. That is, will be acoustic. On top of that, will be weatherproof, so you can use it for an indoor and outdoor projection screen, and you're getting that free. All right, so you know, usually nine by twelve, and blackout cloth would cost you around eighty. And some places, if you get it on a roll, it will cost you somewhere between one hundred and ninety, just for them to put on a roll. Now I know you guys are looking at this and saying, "Well, it's folded up. Is my screen going to come out looking with lines in it?" Nope. As I said, eight-way stretchable material. This is my screen using the exact same blackout cloth. See how smooth the surface is, no wrinkles, no lines, no imperfections in the screen. It looks absolutely fantastic. That's what I love about this company. We do business where we get these from. We get it for a very good wholesale price, enough for us to give it to you for free. Now, as I said, we changed a few things about our two quart kits. Um, this right here is our Eclipse, uh, I'm sorry, the Immerse Eclipse 4K Cinema black screen, but with all our, our two quart kits, we are going to be changing out the black alcohol surface. Instead of you getting a customized cut uh, surface that's going to be 100 inch, actually to 120 inch, which is 100 to 120 inch, we're just going to give you the whole full sheet, the whole full sheet of 9 by 12, the whole full sheet for two quarts. Now keep in mind, you only need to paint up to 135 inch screen, but if you get the gallon, the gallon will allow you to paint a screen size all the way up to 100 inch to 170 inch. Uh, without the blackout cloth, you can do 180, and the two gallons will do a 100 inch to a 300 inch. Pretty good deal, huh? Now keep in mind, for this particular kit, the one gallon would cost you around $324. Um, the uh, um, two quarts will cost you $268, and then in the um, Immerse uh, Dark Slate would cost you for two quarts around $272. And then when you're talking about the one gallon would cost you around 368, I think it's 360, somewhere around that price. It's somewhere around that price. But think about the price of that. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh man, $300, that's a lot of money to spend on paint. Well, consider the fact that if you're gonna be spending the money for the investment to have the best of the best when it comes to your home theater setup, and trust me when I tell you, 300 and something dollars is not a lot of money when you see some of these high-end screens that would cost you an easily five, thousand dollars even eighteen thousand dollars for the screen that i have in that living room all right so let's show you what we have in the living room going on right now now we have a dmp supernova now mind the dmp supernova at 100 inches is around four to five thousand dollars another one that's actually the infinity we have the blade over here that is another screen around four to five thousand dollars and then elite screens top screen not the great cinema 5d the top screen is a dark star nine now, I want you to look at the back of this really quick. 
This is the specifications on a Dark Star 9. It has a 180 degree view and angle and the gain is 0 0.9, all right? Now that screen will probably cost you in the range of probably uh, three to $2,000 uh, just for a 100 inch. Keep in mind that a DMP Supernova at this caliber, at 180 inches, $18,000. All right, so in this demonstration, you're gonna find something very interesting. A lot of these screens do not react well to uh, ambient light. They will turn tan. They react better if they're being used in a darker environment or ambient light controlled environments, or the projector would have to be positioned in line with the screen in order for the screen to react correctly. With our screen paint, you can put the projector anywhere you want. You want it on the floor, you want it on the ceiling. It doesn't make a difference. The screen is gonna look incredible. All right, so uh, let's begin. And I'm gonna show you already from the door, you'll see where our screen maintains color and you'll see the high-end screens turn tan. That's because the screens cannot take in this kind of ambient light, number one. Number two, they have to be in line with the projector in order to be able to focus a perfect picture. We don't have that problem. All right, so let's begin. Okay, sorry about that. My video is pausing here for a minute. There we go. And I don't think we have any sound. Let me go over and check. I'm going to pause this for a minute. I'm going to hit my sound bar. I don't think I came in and hit the sound bar. Nope. Didn't hit the sound bar. I know you want some sound with this, right? Hope it's not too loud. For some reason, I don't know why my sound bar always jumps. All right. We should be good. Here we go. We are a bit too loud, though. There we go. That's better. Now imagine, this is a 180 inch screen, so it's taking in a ton of light. Now if you look at this, this is one of the things you don't see in a lot of the demonstrations. You don't see people actually using, they use a lot of ambient light controlled environments because in an ambient light control environment, you can control where you want the lighting at uh, and how it's directed towards your screen. As you can see in this demonstration, we just have light just constantly nailing the screen, and the screen looks absolutely fantastic. From any angle, the screen looks fantastic. Now keep in mind, those screens in that center, that screen, are four and five thousand dollars, three thousand dollar projection screens. Now watch, we'll turn the lights out, and you'll see the screens react a little better. Now this is the difference between my technology and what's on the market because I can come here and show you, look, we can do this with this sample sheet. We've tested against high-end performance screens. We've done it in fully lit environments. I've done this demonstration on a 200 lumen projector at 11 feet back on this screen. I've done it at 25 feet back on a Casio laser and lead projector. Back on again. So instead of you going out, and I mean not to put anybody down, but think about it. So if you're going out and spending four to five thousand dollars for a projection screen, look at the technology you have here. And keep in mind, like I said, an 180-inch screen, and this and these, and these particular projection screens would cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. And consider the fact for $368, you could paint a screen of 180 inches and have this kind of performance. Let's see, I don't have to be subjected to the dark. My screen looks absolutely fantastic. Look at this, any angle I choose, this screen is gonna look fantastic. I can go anywhere in this room. I've had a lot of people ask me about short throws because apparently some of these screens don't react well to short throw. But as you can see with my short throw, the screen looks incredible. And this is what you want. You want to be to come home, turn on all your lights, entertain your guests, your friends, you know. You don't want to have all your friends submerged in a dark environment. Now you see how my screen picks up on an angle? Look at this.
this is the kind of technology we offer you this is why it's worth every penny because like I said who do you see on YouTube doing demonstrations like us you see that look at that that's the dark star knife doing really good but consider the cost And mind you, we're doing this in 720p. There's no 4K upscaling. There's no calibrating the projector. There's none of that. This is all done in 720p. I have a 720p projector. Okay, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology. Screen choosing smart technology game. Showing you guys, sorry, showing you ladies and gentlemen out there that you don't have to spend a lot of money for a projector. You can paint this screen paint on just about any surface you want, your pre-existing projection screens, your walls, whatever you want. And you can do this in under 10, 20 minutes, the screen will dry. I'll put demonstrations below showing me painting in these screens. Very easy to do. On top of that, consider the fact that, you know, you don't have to break the bank on trying to figure out what projector will be compatible with your screen. You don't have to break the bank when it comes to your screen. This is a very easy application. And as you can see in our demonstration, we're not talking about a bunch of pretty colors. We don't have the screen submerged in complete darkness. We can come in here and I can turn my lights on and I can show you the difference between our technology and the technology you've seen before you. There we go. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. We can show you the difference between our screens and what's out there on the market. All right. Thank you all for watching. I got to get back to work. I have a massive amount of orders to get out the door. Uh, we have an official contract. Oh man, I'm freaking excited. And uh, right now, just want to add really quick. I may be offline for a while, uh, not anytime soon, but maybe for about two or three days. We are in the process of house hunting. So me and the wife are looking at a new house. We did find one we did like. We're going to be going out to the realtor today and checking out the new place. It's going to be so excited. So anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, can't wait. Yes, and the screen will be changing. Um, I don't know how big the wall is. I haven't had a chance to look inside the house yet. I've seen some pictures of it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. But um, uh, I may be doing a hundred and fifty, maybe 160, maybe 170 inch. Uh, 235.1. Yeah, I might do 170 inch 235.1 screen. I'm going to be actually um, getting another projector. I'm going to keep my ViewSonic. I love it. I'm going to be doing a uh, 1080p projector instead. All right. Thank you all again. Everyone have a good one out there. Thank you for your time.